<laughs> hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I'd do a quick video on how to fragrance combine your favourite Jo Malone perfumes. So I have a little cheat sheet in front of me and I have some perfumes around me and I'm just gonna have a chat about it. So yeah, let's talk about the first way. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a perfume and I'm gonna grab a body product. And yeah, so the first way you can do it is literally by getting a bath and body product like the dry body oil and you can get the cologne in the same fragrance and you can use the bath and body product and then use the cologne and that will give you a Jo Malone perfume which is just a little richer, deeper and long lasting. You're not combining two fragrances, you're literally combining the bath and body product to make the perfume last longer. So if you've got a wedding, if you've got, I don't know, a big day, anything like that, you just want the perfume to last a little bit longer. Also, if it's a little bit more of a light scent, like you are wearing a wood sage and sea salt, and you just want it to really have a bit more impact, then you can use the Bath and Body product combined with the cologne and you'll get a longer lasting fragrance. Moisture does help um, fragrance lock into the skin as well. So anything that you're using, which has kind of a hydrating quality, like a body butter, or like a dry body oil will also help the fragrance last longer. Or if you're using like a hair mist, shampoo, conditioner, anything like that, again, hair holds fragrance really, really well. And that will again, make the fragrance last longer. So you can fragrance combine one fragrance with bath and body products and the cologne just to make it last a bit longer and give it a bit more punch, but you won't be combining fragrances. Just so you know, that's more about layering. The next thing we're going to talk about is combining a fragrance with another fragrance. So for instance, if I keep hold of my uh, Dark Amber and Ginger Lily dry body oil, I could combine a little bit of that, like rub it all over me, and then use a different cologne. So for instance, I could use Dark Amber and Ginger Lily with Pomegranate Noir. That would actually be a really nice, dark, juicy combination. They've got a lot of similar notes but this would kind of just add a little bit more juicy berryness and I don't know, kind of just keep it like, I don't know, in that kind of dark moody space, but just make it a little bit more complex. Um, similarly, I could use the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily body oil and maybe add in, ooh, Red Roses to kind of amp up those floral notes in this and maybe make maybe make it a little bit fresher, but also kind of add roses to the mix, which would again be really beautiful. So you can use one bath and body, one cologne, and just, you know, fragrance combined that way. Alternatively, you can just get two colognes and miss them. For instance, I would probably combine poppy and barley with rose. I think that would make a beautiful combination. There's already rose in poppy and barley. There's red roses, obviously, in red roses, but then there's also some lemon and some beeswax and some green fresh notes. So it would kind of add a little bit of freshness and sparkle to this quite dry, barley, cereally kind of rose and just make this a little bit more fresh and lively and make this one a little bit more earthy you know, and a little bit more solar as well. So you can combine two fragrances. I would also say put the darker, heavier fragrance down first and then put the lighter one on top. And as always, don't rub, don't rub, don't blot, just leave to dry. Um, so yeah, that is the next way. Then if I grab another fragrance, another fun way to um, fragrance combine is by literally spraying two perfumes on you but not in the traditional places, not like on your wrist and on your wrist, but like more, one in your hair, one on your body. And then, you know, you'll swish your hair and kind of get that fragrance going on with your hair. And then you'll have the other fragrance on your body and on your clothes. And then you'll kind of, they'll kind of combine, but in a different way, which is really nice. And also fragrance does cling really well into hair. So you'll find that the fragrance in your hair might last a little bit longer than the fragrance on your body, which is kind of fun too. So that is an option. And finally, another fun way to do it is you can spray one perfume on your front and then one, per one perfume on your back so that you kind of have more of a kind of a 3D sensory 
fragrance experience and I have tried that it's really fun that was a tip I picked up from Emma Jane South who is one of the Jo Malone fragrance ambassadors and I think it's really fun you feel a little bit weird like spraying perfume on your back but it does really work and it's really nice and a little bit will get in your hair and it will just kind of feel like you've got this like surround sound perfume experience which is kind of really cool and fun um and then the only other tip i've got for you is all the fragrances from the Jo collection have kind of been created to blend well with all the other fragrances so it's quite hard to find a bad combination like basically all of them will smell really good with all of them so you can literally not go wrong because all of them smell good with all the other things and you can just kind of think to yourself okay i love red roses but i want to make it a little bit more warm and romantic for the evening and then you kind of mix it with something else a little bit more warm and romantic like marantonka or dark amber and ginger lily or if you have something that you like to wear in the winter but then you want to wear it in the summer you can add something a little bit more bright and fresh and breezy to kind of make it a little bit more spring summer so it really is just about kind of taking what you love and kind of adding a different element to it or maybe amping up the floral notes or amping up the smoky notes and just kind of having fun like if if you really hate it you could just wash and change your clothing like do you know what i mean it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt anybody you know it's just it's just perfume and it's just fun so you really can just experiment and spray pretty much any perfume with any other perfume and just see what happens which is really fun and then finally if you just want to keep it really simple the best two fragrances to combine are always wood sage and sea salt to make everything a bit lighter fresher more springtime a little bit more coastal earthy woodsy and just kind of add like a little bit of salty breeziness into the fragrance it literally combines with everything and that's a great fragrance combiner or you can go the other way and make everything a little bit darker a little bit more textured a little bit more smoky mysterious dark sensual eveningy wintry with marantonka marantonka literally is like the opposite of wood sage and sea salt it combines beautifully with literally everything to just make everything smell a little bit more mysterious so for instance red roses which i love is like a beautiful warm green slightly citrus slightly beeswax red rose it's beautiful but if i combine that with wood sage and sea salt it would give it more of a summery light fresh coastal slightly woodsy salty kind of vibe and then if i combine it with marantonka it would take the red roses and make it more dark and sensual and eveningy and a little bit more moody which again is just it's taking that red roses and it, it's making it appropriate for spring and summer and autumn and winter day night and it just kind of also makes you feel like you've got something a little bit more bespoke as well so it's kind of really fun it's a really creative way of like playing with your fragrances a little bit like kind of you know how you might style a dress in a different way this is kind of all about styling your perfumes in a different way and just making them last all year and making them last a little bit longer and just having more fun with it like it really is just about having more fun and um yeah we all buy perfume because it's fun we all buy perfume because it makes us feel good and this is just another way to be creative. So I love it. I'm a big fan of the fragrance combining. Some of them I don't think really need combining. Some of them I think it makes it a little bit more fun and exciting. But it's just a fun way to enjoy your perfume. So I thought I'd do a quick video. I hope that's of help. I hope it all makes sense. And thank you so much for watching. I'll probably try and link some of the perfumes below. And also give highlights of like different ways to do it. So it kind of breaks it down into um into bullet points as well so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you again soon have a lovely day goodbye <laughs>